I don't want to get involved. There's uh, GG got bet odds. Yeah, it looks like Simon Game have gone up in the world rankings after that one map, it seems. But yes, rank 40 versus rank 1. It's a brutal state of affairs, but it's into the third, and for good reason. 16-14 on the second map as well. Simon have kept it competitive, and the odds from GG.bet have halved after the, over the course of the series. Well, let's see what can be done then. Simon Ooh. Gaming glues the knife now on the CT side here, and the first frag coming in thick and fast. Any second now, Electronic, he'll be tested here. Multiple players around him, but still no kills. How is no one? Couple. There what? it is. <laughs> Looked like it was going so well for Simon Gaming, just nothing was actually being found. They took a lot of space. Navi were willing to just back it out, take those fights, and here's the multiple fights from multiple angles. And Mo and Kios have just managed to find one apiece. So, is this where the round comes tumbling down? It looks to be the case. Well, one more kill for Kriaz, but that's probably going to be it. Uh, but still, towards the E-Box, he would need some fantastic shots here at this point to even do damage. Oh. There's the first, down to 11 HP with Vecto. He's got some backup there. The former Flamey, who will be finding his third kill of the round, gets himself a nice hat-trick and no bomb planted. Probably going to be the eco here for Simon. The name Perfecto is one that we would probably be saying a lot in this game. If I remember rightly, he is the inside defender for the Na'Vi roster. Now, Simon Gaming on overpass, they went B. Perfecto holds B. They had a lot of success on Dust2, going to that same bomb site, able to punish him in multiple occasions. So inside is one where we will always see teams try and condition. And that's something that we could potentially keep an eye on here. The Deagles will be out a plenty. Utility as well and some HE. So let's see how these land. Yeah, it is the full investment of Simon Gaming. We didn't necessarily expect it, but no real damage inflicted there. That was their ace in the hole there. They get a managing to get an opening kill. They could have been onto something, but no real damage inflicted and simple. He does continue to push towards Ivy. He'll find no damage, but still, that's a valuable part of the map they've been locked out of. They'll have to expend a flash or two just to confirm he's not by the dumpster. As he patrols the area, knowing he's got the upper hand in the fight, waits for his chance to strike. Hmm. Three of them. If he rounds that corner. He's so ready to take this fight. Eventually it comes, but Mo hits the headshot. It could only have been a headshot. And he lives to tell the tale. An M4 now loose on Ivy. Is that going to be enough, though? They don't really have much else. A couple of smokes, to be fair to them. Some flashbangs as well, but 50 seconds remain. They're currently still in T-spawn, essentially, here. So the first couple of smokes will be deployed momentarily, ideally smoking off the connector and the bomb site itself. Try and get the C4 down, and if they can do that, they might be onto something here. Smoke's time to go down at this stage. There's the one for connector. And in they go. Down yeah. towards Ivy as well. And Norbert's just killed the inner player. That's going to get things a bit confusing. A Dink did get caught. I think that was Perfecto, a long-range MP9 bullet. But he's under some scrutiny as well. They rotate through Pop Dog. They plan to hit the outer yard. Neil and... He should be able to get this trade here. It's a chance. It's not going to be easy. Electronic already set up with that FAMAS. Electronic showing us what he's made of here. It's going to come right down to the wire. Three versus two. Flashbang deployed towards Hell and Boomish needs to swing on it. The kill, though, is fantastic from Kriaz. They are showing us what they're made of here, and that's going to be the round. It's a second round forced by Isaac Smith and the AK-47s myself, but those were some incredible shots delivered time and time again. A very convincing round from Simon Gaming. I have spent this entire best of three with my eyes wide open yeah. as how some of these rounds are unfolding here today. I don't know if I can stress this enough. These, these two shouldn't even be in the, in the same weight category, right? You think about Na'Vi as a team who should be, with Simple and Electronic, one of the best teams in the world. Yeah. This is the conversation we've been having a lot about the top dogs. There's just so many teams they have to worry about. There's so many squads who they have to prep for, who they look at tendencies for. Whereas these guys here, they already have the X marked very clearly on Na'Vi. That goes for the entirety of the scene. We heard from Neil in the interview. This is the top team. Of course, Perfecto is going there. Well, of course, everyone's looking at their strats. Of course, everyone's super prepared for them. And a nice frag from Boomage for two bullets in quick succession. Do find Norbert on this descent of Pop Dog. So that's the early advantage that Na'Vi were dreaming of and so they found themselves buying up in this round. A force buy in response. This is where it's just a battle. As soon as you break it, as soon as you stop trading rounds, the other has to stomach a couple of lesser buys. Simple, good chance here. 
Elon Schlucky going to go for a wide swing, and it's a hard shot to hit. A second chance, though, and now he'll be forced off. He's going to burn alive in that. He's going to have to fight, going to have to face. And now tucking in on a bomb train. Four versus three. Na'Vi running out of options, running out of players. Moe's got two of them before Perfecto finally clawed one back on site. Another is necessary. This is huge from Boomich, but quickly silenced. And now all on to the one man. Up against his old squad in a winnable 1v2, but from his back, it's Kriaz that strikes, and they take the second, two in a row. That's a huge round for them to pick up. The third and final map, the second round force by works out for them, and it'll be round number three, where Na'Vi find nothing. They are left with $2,000 per player, 3K for simple, uh, but he does like to expend most of his cash in deagles and armor. His mo is showing us uh, what's capable with the FAMAS. He's had an excellent showing so far. I wasn't expecting this from Mo, one of those names. I, I know he's a decent CS player, but I don't expect him to cause damage against yeah. Na'Vi, but he's looked like one of the best players on the server. Maybe it's one of those situations like uh, Anna from OG. You know, they won yes. the major and he's like, look, Mo's like, look guys, I need about three years off uh, and then I'll come back <laughs> and, and, and then we'll do some damage again. That would be uh, a nice way to bring your career back to life. But uh, for now, it's just going to be Na'Vi on the pistol. So maybe a chance to pad his stats even further. Perfecto. Given the impossible task of holding inside alone with a USP as his teammate falls. That's going to be the first frag towards Boomich. And Mo, I'll have the Mac 10 for now. Good flash. Should be converted. There it is. This is clean, right? And I was baffled to hear that they were communicating in English. The fact that they're doing a lot of these little micro moves, flashing for each other and stuff, it's, it's great to see. Now, I want to have a little bit of a, of a caveat here. A lot of these players would play in the realms of FPL yes. and the rank S's of the world and those bits and pieces, right? So they would be familiar with communicating in Counter-Strike language with yeah. English because that's a that's a necessity if you want to play in those realms, right? English is, is the language that everybody speaks. Yeah, so they may not be talking about their, their weekend and yeah. their plans, but they might, they can definitely talk about the, the plan. That That is bang on, right? And then I suppose if it is a matter of just having to break it down Barney style for one of them or the coach can communicate in Russian to some of them to get the message through quicker, these are the things that we do talk about and know about. For example, FaZe, let's say Olaf and Rain are holding a bomb site. They might speak Swedish with one another. Yeah. I know that, that Rain is from Norway, but as far as I've been told, there's a little bit of a an overlap there same as the the serbians within the g2 roster we've obviously got the french within the g2 roster they can default back to their native languages if you know rounds are getting real tight yeah there's like a two-on-one scenario and you've got what kenny s and jack's live they will be speaking in french right that's just the way it goes down because it's more efficient and uh, they'll speak english otherwise so uh Certainly interesting that Simon Gaming are operating in English here, but they're doing a great job up against the world's best. And they've got them on the ropes in the third and final map here on the T side. Na'Vi will limp in with a buy here. They do have enough for four rifles, but one of which is the FAMAS. And maybe an inside execution here. You can see smoke support towards outside. It is a full-on send towards the inside area. Perfecto. They'll have to tuck tail between the upper bomb site and brown halls. And their Molotov now. This isn't looking good for Na'Vi at all. God, Perfecto still in brown halls. They know it as well. They're throwing nades towards him. Mo's responsibility now. Oh, my and God. And Norbert's just pushed CT Sport. He wants more electronic. He can't believe he's being pushed. And he certainly won't be able to believe that there's another one. One. Waiting for him, Kios, an AWP around the corner. He does have, doesn't have to take that fight, and even smoking simple off. Oh, this fight for Perfecto is important. Controls the spray nicely. Kriaz, he's trying to do a lot, and he's actually caught another. Great work between Kios and Kriaz. They've found all the frags necessary. Simple's just talking about the save now. Perfecto the same. He's recovered the AK from his frag, and he'll be trying to take his prize towards T-Spawn to save. Looks like he's gotten away with it. So Oof. I want to bring up uh, Skybox at the end of this one here, just to I show everybody at home, as soon as they saw where Perfecto was positioned, how quickly they swarmed and pushed towards the hump position. So they noted that he was high ramp, right? We can see them going down low ramp. Perfecto gets spotted just going up the ladder here. A couple of bullets exchanged. He hides, but check this out. Molotov towards the connective position. Simple, he's locked out. Another Molotov towards the back lines here to avoid. Two players already pushed up towards spawn. We're a minute 30 into the round. The pace of this one here is the clear winner. But you can see how textbook it is as well. The MAC-10 getting in towards CT spawn, like undetected essentially, that's massive. Like, I'm always trying to encourage my teams. You gotta get down, they gotta get stuck in. Don't worry about the bomb. We need to overwhelm the CTs and not give them a fighting chance. And we might have found that exact scenario here in number six. They've got three pistols, a saved AK, but a simple AWP and boomage. That's a brave maneuver, and it he leads him to a frag as well. He gets away with it. Oh, that was such a stealthy assassination from Boomage. He does look like a train killer. Up the ladder, unannounced, silently, but swiftly. It goes up the ladder, then just strafes back down. Doesn't take a point of damage. No armor, but now an AK. 
maybe that could be enough to pull the rug from underneath the Simon Gaming Assault, especially if he was to catch a Deagle headshot here, but the edge of the smoke is still lingering. Spots his feet, readies his aim, and takes his shot, but Kriaz will find him, and now looking for the transfer. It was electronic, appropriately, by the electronic box. Good catch. This is great stuff. They've been able to deal with this very easily, and now Perfecto Molotov out of position. It's just Boomish remaining. Oof. And just Perfecto now, the inside player. If you play inside, you have to be willing to clutch. This is what it's all about. You'll see Zipex or Astralis, for example, play towards inside. And you see if this two versus one works out for him. Perfecto will have no kit, no utility, Mo. Watching with the AWP towards the bomb train itself, and he seems to know exactly where he is. He might have had a gap there. And the fact that Kios is flanking him suggests they know where he is, but they're away from to touch the bomb. And he's running out of that time because, as I mentioned, no kip. Money was low regardless. They still buy up into the next round, but it looks like the chances of winning this are almost nil. As Mo confirms it, Simon Gaming now have a 5-1 lead on the two side of train. <laughs> God. What day is it? Friday? It's a Friday, day okay. 15 of the Rotary. Is it the 13th by any chance? Uh, Friday the 8th of May, 2020. Okay, well, we might have to remember this day because this is wild. I, I'm really impressed with Simon Gaming and how calm under pressure. I said that after map one. There was a few moments on Dust 2. They were very threatening all 30 rounds. Now here on train, they're looking great. Two more rounds, they'll be happy with the TR. Yeah, Counter-Strike in flux. So a little pop flash there from Kriaz, trying to bait out some utility from the CT side. Does give him a, use, a bit of uh, incendiary towards the main entrance, and Mo has impressed all of us so far. Continuing the pressure towards Ivy. There's actually three Simon Gaming players there, met by the flashbang, flamey swings, but the smoke will catch him. That was the sound cue he was waiting for, and look what it's done for him. I'm not sure. If it's going to be enough for a concrete victory, certainly does look like it is now. Kios, however, in the back lines. The bomb being loose is the uh, the be-all and end-all of this problem, though. Oh, he's got a kill here. Yeah, simple. Knife out, jumping. Oh, I thought he was going to have time to pull the trigger. Maybe that's going to cause a bit of a spiral here. Maybe they didn't spot the bomb because they haven't defended it. In the smoke, it fell. Yeah, that does throw a spanner in the works, however. Electronic, he's a main entrance, but he's got some company oh. here. Kriaz doesn't look. They're right next to each other. They have no idea. Look, look to your left, Kriaz. Oh. It will be enough. They're right next to each other. They have no idea. He's Who's not going to turn win? either. He, why would he? Look at that. Great camera rush. Look at this. They are completely like ships in the night passing by one another. It could actually work out for Kriaz, though, because they think main is clear, right? Mo steals another kill away, and Boomich... Wow. Detected and struck down. It is going to be a two on two. Electronic, remember, he wasn't spotted, even though they were touching into toward that main entrance. Bomb he might get down. this kill. He might. He certainly oh. looks like he has a chance now. Spotted no. and finds another Kriaz with two after sitting next to Electronic. He could have smelt him. Now we're going to have clutch. Let's get that clip ready regardless because they have no idea that has went down. Perfecto left in another impossible scenario. Pretty much a carbon copy of the round prior. Ooh. He has the M4, but no utility, no kit. The exact same position. He knows where they are, but he won't be touching this bomb by the looks of things here. Doesn't find the kit. Starts to retreat. Doesn't even get the consolation frag as he will be going back towards the connector. Six to one. Simon Gaming are delivering a mammoth performance here. This... It's very exciting. Na'Vi, if you're not aware, haven't had the cleanest run in Road to Rio so far. This was a bit of a must win and expected to be a 2-0. Was that a 3v5? Yeah, it was until he got that kill in CT spawn. That's pretty wild stuff right here. The fact that that whole interaction went down and Electronic didn't clear the corners, both of them were playing within the smoke. So whew, that could be one of the, the, the game winning rounds right there. I feel like the comms as well, like, you, you know how we talk about phase in like certain rounds? I feel like this is the breaking point for Na'Vi. It certainly could be. 
just seeing a time after time the same site being hit. It's like overpass all over again. I'm surprised they're not going in to that to that yeah. bomb site more. But what they are doing, their avenue of success has been through the back alleys and through kiosks, right? Being able to take control. He's taken simple down twice rotating through that back alley position when he has had an is AWP. he going through iv late and just kind of catching them in a the timing yeah and this is something that gambit used to do a lot of they had dozier going ivy he was part of that pack with mo historically and they were able to slowly work out that ivy position if you go all the way back to vp the vp of old they were able to do strategies like this as well where they would just apply pressure slowly yeah, and was, clamp down it was always pasha that would make his way out of ivy and doing that sort of thing and distracting and uh we'll have a look if mo can continue his success here what a Brilliant performance, and the money still wrecked for Na'Vi. Simple will bring out the AWP, a fast for Perfector as well, but still a partial buy, believe it or not. Five sevens, CZs, Desert Eagles, USVs. We'll see if Simple's position towards inside is going to be enough. Smoke down. Lovely little smoke as well. And this has been a key battle. Boomage has impressed us with his serpent-like nature. Managing to slide up the ladder here. Luckily, won't be taking too much damage at least down to 56 could have been a lot worse oh electronic they can spot just a glimmer of him the left hit visible not again he runs out of bullets had there been just a couple more in the clip maybe simple taking a huge risk and it costs him 70 damage maybe flamey's deagle could be the equalizer this could put an ak perfect crosshair but oh. krias just ducks underneath it the sweep delivers another the movement that was sick from krias won't get the second. Good chance for Perfecto here. If he can take down that bomb, Planter does so. Can't get away cleanly. And now it's just down to simple. 37 points of health, couple of flashes. Unfortunately, the bomb hasn't gone down as of yet. Oh, the first shot so fast. It looks so precise to me, but he'll be met by Mo in the end, and that's going to be 7 1 now. But that was. Bear in mind a partial buy, though it didn't look like it. They had residual cash. Simple, just to know, is currently a 1 and 7 with 11 ADR. He got 30 plus frags in the previous map. The only player killing on the first of Overpass. And now, if he drops off chat, that, that could be it for him. They're like, if, if Simple doesn't turn up and the rest yeah. are looking flat as they were, yeah. Simon just have an open runway here. This is insane. You know, it, it, I, I, I'm out of words. Like, I, I do not know what to say about what's going on in the Na'Vi camp at this point. They have a chance to turn it around, and well, through Simple, he's dropped the AWP, he's given it to Flame, he's taken the M4, and he's found an opening. <laughs> there we go. We were just talking about him, and he's come alive instantaneously. Sometimes. I mean, it's just so clear he's said at the start of a round, give me M4, I'm going to go get a kill. And he does. Delivers it. Delivers on his promise, probably more often than not. Now he's swapped and joined Perfecto. They'll be playing two inner for this hold. No, but it's been very good at late finds on this. Just as there's enough presence outside, catching and keeping those CTs at bay. Looks like Boomich will call main clear. A very passive hold for Krias to start off this round. The rotation is very late if they do an inner execute here. So they, if they deal with both players on the bomb site, they'll have themselves roughly five seconds to set up a post plan. Well, Simple's here with Perfecto now. So a bit more firepower. Both of them for Simple take a flash to the face, though, but they haven't checked the spools out just yet until now. Perfecto has been given a bit of a foundation at this point, but back to a three-on-three. Oh, three. deadly as ever, but the trades continue to be delivered. 35 seconds, Flamey has missed a few orb shots today. Coming with four kills, this one has to connect, and oh. he's flashed off, and he lets him get away. That's a plan, boys. And it is Norbert's smooth move as well. He had low HP. He could have created, but just latching onto Good that smoke. ladder. He can sit in that now if he wants to. Or oh, peek oh, over oh, it oh. like a one-way boomage. He could see nothing there, and he gets the info at the top of the ladder. This is nuts. They're playing good Counter-Strike. This is better Counter-Strike than Navi are putting down. There's no question about it. This is not gimmicks. Yeah, outplaying them every step of the way. It's hard to explain. Norbert will finish this one. Surely, no, not to be. No ammo in his AK. Flamey perhaps has a up. shot. He has the kit. Up against the orb, probably the best port of call here, but it will be Mo. P to 50 out, couple of bullets land, and it will be eight to one. That was a full investment from Na'Vi as well. They have now lost a half. They need to do so much more, and this is the third and final map. And Simon, they've already got more than enough rounds for a T-side campaign. And this they've actually got maybe a guaranteed round here. It's eight on the trot. Yeah, you're right. They lost pistol. This is wild. 
This I, I know before coming into it, I said that Neelan was their highest rated player on the five maps they have played. He's actually the lowest rated player for them right now. He only has three kills, but the team is still getting it done. They've been able to exploit this Ivy gap. They went inside, they punished Inner. They even got it done with simple playing the bomb site with Perfecto. Still not enough. <laughs> Could need damage, but it's yeah, not gonna translate into anything substantial. You need those kills. Again, working towards Ivy. It's good to actually follow Kiosk because he keeps getting backtracks. Maybe we can actually follow his process there. Neelan catching the first and now Molotov it off for now, focusing their attention this time towards the yard itself. The Zeus is out and about. Boomich normally found towards a pop dog and that's exactly what he's gonna be right now. Full accuracy of that thing. Doesn't matter if you're on the wailings or not. Doesn't look good for a kill here. This is just too strong. It's overwhelming. Still a chance of simple alive and low HP players. Uh, you've always got to say that. Desert Eagle, helmet available. First shot won't be connected. Norbert, he steps up again. Three kills found. What's his total out right now? It's going to be <laughs> up there at nine. He did it again. Yeah, they're hyped. They are hyped. I know Chad's scared I'm that he's going to, that the Hulk's going to get all angry and start slamming his fists in the server. But I think he is slamming his fists probably on his desk right now because yeah. he still only has, well, two kills and two assists. But he is Ooh. looking flustered, and we don't normally say that with Sim. This is uh, some of the wildest stuff I've seen in a long time. Navi, they lost to Virtus Pro, 2-0. Now, on their road to Rio, they meet Simon Gaming. Could be another loss to the TCIS underdogs. Remember, I said the overpass map, the 16... Okay, that's great. The 16-4 was yeah. their worst loss. Ever, ever. yeah, but ever. it's fine. So... Flame me, defending towards Ivy, and they need this round. They've got the opening pick, so... This one... Logic that takes, they should be able to convert it. Simple. Doesn't hit the shot again. He's still down there at 2 and 9 right now. Looking for anything he can get. There it is. Third frag obtained. And they've got himself a 5 on 3 here. Inside split, we've got a player towards the lower round. That's going to be Norbert, who's been playing out of his mind the last couple of rounds. Surely is where Na'Vi will close out around round yet. Yeah, you definitely think so. I think that with Mo... Being left in a clutch, and with 6 HP, he's more interested in preservation of the AWP. He's going to get offered another kill right here. Wasn't ready for it. Electronic takes him down. They will not... Will he? Won't he? Will not scavenge the AWP for a secondary <laughs> orb. I guess you'd give it to Flamey only, and honestly, he's looked pretty ropey with the weapon. Look, I, I've been sending out some messages to see if anybody at home can kind of help us understand uh, what's been going on with this matchup right here, and I've got my finest man on the job. Uh, Green, are you with me? Yes, hello. Do you want to explain to us what the bloody hell's happening? I have no idea. This is some crazy scenes, to be honest. I didn't expect this. I thought it was nice 2-0, nice and easy job for him, but Simple's on, what, two now? No, he actually got two that round. He's on four now. Unheard of scenes. Boys. It is, totally. And Simon Gaming, this is the T side of train. Worth reiterating that the favored side is still to come. I'm getting nervous. Sweaty palms. I'm sure Simple is too. Ooh. That's a little lay on the incendiary. Perfecto's in a lot of hot water. Jumping over his spray, they find the first. So, and they're across to the bomb. He was so committed there. The incendiary was late. There was nothing he could really do, but maybe Simple can. There will be a four and four found here. They've got at least a kit available, but in terms of utility, they'll have to drop those smokes on top of the bomb and start getting the defuse going. It's going to be Neelan, though, behind enemy lines, and he'll be watching that first player. No problem. A double kill is found. This is wonderful. And again, I don't think they can justify going for this one. Maybe that will invite them in a little bit closer, but just simple remains. And not for much longer. Double digits, 10 to 2, and money ruined again on the CT side. This feels like it's done already, boys. Yeah, I can't believe we're saying that. 12 rounds into the, th th the third map of this series, and it already feels like Simon have done enough. My God. Lovely play from Neil, and three frags in the round. Those first two, or rather, last two, were uh, instrumental into converting that after plant. Okay, so the scoreline is 10 2. Yes. If we were to take the name plates away and just look at this game right here, Simon Gaming have won. It's all over. They, they should be able to, you know, get to that second half, convert, a couple of easy rounds. Shouldn't be too many dramas. That's how the story would go. The problem I have is it is Navi still in the server. If they can manage to get Absolutely. four, if they can get five, 
They win the pistol. Well, we're definitely back on here. So it's not done and dusted just yet. Simon Gaming are impressing the hell out of me. As it stands right now, though, it's looking like a locked-in victory yeah. for Simon. But yeah, you're absolutely right. If ever a team could pull it back in this region, it would be Na'Vi. They are rated so incredibly high for one reason. And that's because they're a fantastic team. Sure, this hasn't been their best show in this series, but certainly still some life left in the tank. As Kriaz, though, opens things up. That's the in-game leader removed. Far from ideal, but that's a bit better. Electronic will get the kill deed for Mass. Neil and spots him. Drops in the, the Molotov, but no one at home towards E-Box. Here come the flashes, the Molotov, just to Beautiful. completely and totally keep the CTs on their toes. And they're going in a Perfecto's only got a Deagle. This is going to be so difficult. He wants to try and play the off angle, swings into the fight. Norbert can't believe his luck. The defender came to him and he's got a bomb plant. Yeah, Perfecto having a rough time in that inside area. I would say they need to maybe tag him out. It's a hot switch because he's going down with no kills almost every single time. Fair play. Didn't have much to work with there, but it's becoming a bit of an issue. I love that call. It was very nice, wasn't it? The outside execution, it looked very convincing. Molotov smokes all the way down, flashes over as well. And if you keep finding one player towards inside, it suggests you've committed the perfect strategy, yeah. right? Because there's no one to back him up. He's got no grenades. And uh, that's the round over. They can't even justify going for it. Oh, and Simple oh, goes down as well. Simple. This is falling apart. This Look, I'm just going to be singing the praises of Simon Gaming here. Yeah. They have come in They'd with one good. mission, and yep. they are succeeding here today. Realistically, they had a real shot on Dust2, a 16-14. They could have taken this series 2-0 if they take this map in such a commanding fashion. But that's the, that's almost more impressive, yeah. is that you got close to 2 0 in the num world number one and taking a, the biggest scalp in your region, and then you didn't. But now you've come into the third map, and you haven't been wavered at all. In fact, if anything, you've come in looking better. 11 round on the T side of train. Na'Vi won the knife. Na'Vi choose CT. You feel like, okay, now we're getting back to normality. Now we're heading back to where the Na'Vi train's been meaning to go. But my God, Simon Gaming, they have not let up. If anything, they have pushed their pedal to the metal even more so. Well, here we go then. The penultimate round of this first half and it's must win again for Na'Vi. They're on the CT side of train. A very viable map within their pool, and it just looks woeful here. This derby continues wow. to impress as Simon Gaming get yet another opening frag. Perfecto, that's the best thing he's done all half, I'm afraid. That's going to be a double kill to Famas, taking his total up to eight now. Should be enough to win the round, but I say that with very baited breath. They have fought the way out of some amazing scenarios. Two on fours on a T side of train is impressive to say the very least. Two smokes, Mo and Kriaz. They're both lining them up now. If they fake again, that would be a great call, but I don't know if they will. They know. Pop Ivy. What do you do with those? You're isolating at least the close position so you can get out into Olof. That's going to give you some room to work some jewels. You have 40 seconds left. It's, it's not the worst play in the world. Yeah, and you've got Mo watching the back tracks. These guys work up five. This is looking positive. If Simple gets caught here. A shot from Mo, but no, back to turn. It only gets one. It should be fine. Oof. Electronic confirms it, but yes, another uncharacteristic miss. Yeah, he gets the kill that he has to get. Just one of them, right? But by simple standards, Chad, that could be like he's knifing them, styling on them, making them look silly, shooting the bodies. He's, he's struggling out there. He's, I think he's frustrated. I feel like... So people have been tweeting me throughout this game saying there's a bit of beef going on between him and the other players oh, really? on FPL. Uh, oh, we don't keep I, up with I, that I stuff. I have no idea, so I'm not going to even get into it, but apparently there is some storylines oh. going on. And that's why Simon is shooting the bodies are simple when they take him down. Okay, this has just got a whole lot juicier. Yeah, so, that's my type of drama. Yeah, so I have I have no information further than that. If you do know, let me know on Twitter. I can't say it's fact. I've just had a few people tweet it at me. And uh, it's an interesting storyline considering I've, the way Sybil's playing. I've been on the periphery of it. Yeah. Uh, I just know that there was a, a vote with a lot of professional players about some names, newer names to the FPL circuit, and apparently some uh, some communities feel it was unjust names removed. So I may be Simon Gaming were part of that. Yeah, perhaps. And uh, this is looking good. It's the final round of this first half, and things starting to look a little bit more normal. Yeah, I've got a five versus two. Careers and Mo will certainly go for this one, but they're... Time is certainly limited, four versus one. Still a fantastic first half here, Alex. Yeah, I can't, don't think they could ask for any more. Kriaz just going to try and get something done in a rather impossible task. He's been dealt to one versus four. 
know where he is. He, he knows where one of them is, and there's two orbs in pop. My goodness, he's trying to play the tight line, and he will eventually fall. Simon, they have made... Ladies and gentlemen, you join us for the final installment of Na'Vi versus Simon Gaming. We're on the third and final map here, and it's 11-4, but not in the way you might expect. It's actually the underdog, Simon Gaming, posting 11 rounds on their T side here, Chad. Unbelievable scenes, really. Can Na'Vi pull this game back? Can it be done? I don't know, Henry, but I'd love to see a good crack at the comeback. So let's get ready to rumble! Oh, that's the hype I was looking for here. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to get into the pistol round. The crowd are on their feet. We'll see the P250s out, the smokes and flashes to be deployed towards Connector. This is looking good for a fast pounce towards that lower ramp. Norbert, oh. too hot to handle. He's down to 11 HP. Yeah, he's in a lot of trouble. Gets a fresh clip, though, to have one last bite of the cherry, but Perfecto and Flamey fill the feed. Na'Vi with a man advantage and already do have access to that bomb. Neil, and they know where he is. He's actually being pushed from three different angles. My God, Simple wants to challenge. Draws the fire, trying to hope that Electronic can finish the job, but Neil and continuing to keep a bit of a delay on the proceedings here. Yeah, it's actually pretty impressive what he's done so far, but that's oh. even more so. Simple erupts in the second half there. Beautiful entrance with the pistol, a much needed one as well for Na'Vi. He gets himself a couple of frags, beautiful shots at that P250, and we'll see the force by from Simon. Now, this worked out very well for them on the first half. It did. Can they do it again? Will be scouts and CZs, that sort of thing. And uh, on train, three scouts, that's actually super viable. That might be coming out. And Mo was the one when we think about that first round they put on the board on their T side who deagled simple at Ivy with that M4A4. So Mo's the man with the scout. They've also got a bunch of grenades and deagles. This could be extremely potent. Yeah, how does it start? Avoid the nade, good play. Two more where that came from. And two more coming from Ivy. A simple electronic, quite the partnership for Kios to deal with. He'll just spot out, get that smoke out, and delay. Yeah, the theory on how to deal with that is, is weird, but at least they know that there's one player planted their feet towards Ivy, or at least they should be as they take it. Man, what is this? Perfecto. He grabs Neelan. Some more information, and at least the opening falling in their favor. But Kios, he wants a bite of this. He's going to go on in. They're madmen. They really want to fight. My God, Simple was ready, but both of them have hit our shot. Simple and Perfecto will be operating with uh, within that one Deagle range. But Na'Vi, they've done enough now. All they need to do is make sure that they finish as a unit. Does so look like Boomich, Flamey have already got a lot of space towards the Brown Halls, so his teammates will be on their way safely and quietly to join them. Norbert, Kriaz, and Mo. Couple of Deagles and a scout. No one towards inside for now. And it looks like Na'Vi have done enough here. That should be the 2-0, no problem. Mo will fire off a shot towards Ivy, but rotate towards him up. Shouldn't have much of a chance here, but it's the MAC-10 first. He gets the tag, but that's still an opening for them to get that bomb down. Yeah, unfortunately, this might just be one of those rounds where we talk about how much damage was done, but maybe Norbert has other plans. He finishes what Mo's scouts started, the heading out. Lovely work from Na'Vi, just pulling the CTs in, just locking them through the power of rotations and the Molotov on that connector position. They've got a perfectly open sight and the 4v2. So this time, Simon Gaming's Deagles and Scouts will not get them the same success. Yeah, it felt like there would have been a lot of danger right there if Na'Vi were to try and plant on the inner bomb site. I think uh, Na'Vi, the fact that they can stay in limbo in rounds, we see this on Nuke as well, they don't really have to make a decision or a commitment until that last second until they've been given that last bit of information to push them over the edge. So Simon Gaming were probably hoping to pick up a few rifles here, but they'll be doing their best just to hold on to what they have. It's just Mo who remains, scout in hand. If he takes that through to the following round, he can still do some damage, but Simon Gaming should be on an eco, and that will be them conceding what will be round number seven in favor of Na'Vi. Uh-oh. Well, there we have it, Electronic to close things out. And four players to survive on Na'Vi. Their campaign starts here. They've done enough to get through the first three, which is normally the huge question as to whether it could even be attempted here. Money, pretty broken on the Simon side, so... They do bring out a Zeus, but that's about it. Simple, showing us that he's starting to get warmed up on train here. So 11-6 should be turned into seven. So a couple of HEs, a couple of Zeus's. That's about as exciting as it gets. 
this is probably going to be no joke, a 16 14 or overtime game now, which seems insane. But every single round that Navi get an opportunity to pick up some easy kills, I say that as simple kind of limps across the line there, their confidence will build, right? They'll get back into this game. It doesn't matter how badly they were beaten in the first half. They can bounce back from this and seven on the board. It's starting to seem more and more likely. Three more until we get really excited. But this is the first test. Yeah, and I'm very intrigued to know if Mo can have the same impact he did uh, previously on Dust2. That defensive warp, it's a, the buff, perfect map for him to pop off, and he definitely had lots of practice of it with his uh, major winning Gambit squad. This was the map, wasn't it? It was. I don't remember that grand final, Henry. I'm sorry. Do you remember it? Immortals versus Gambit? I remember uh, it happened. I, I, I commentated it, so you'd hope so. But I can't really remember a single detail, but it, it was a good game. Was the X-Cod nade in the... It wasn't in the grand finals, was it? No. That I was some semi. Semi or something yeah. like that, yeah. Oh, they did the totem drop. Legs are broken. Nobody's home. Okay, so Norbert has nothing to report. You'll notice how he smokes as deep as he can into that corner. That's to ensure he can play as close up to it as he needs to disappear into it when he wants to. Perfect. So far from Norbert. Looking for their first round in the second half. Na'Vi certainly convincing as they can turn this game around. Lots of damage inflicted so far. Kios and Norbert feeling the brunt of it. Inside execution looking like they again. Kriaz with smoke and incendiary. Mo all towards upper. Using the more traditional angle, a lot of all standing on the ledge these days. Smoke a lower ramp. That's when the CT force is perfectly timed as well. You can see for 35 seconds, they might not even be able to justify going towards in and out. Waiting, biding their time. Still happy to commit. And creates an incendiary. This will be massive. If he can get this out at a good time, he could be onto something. He's waiting for the queue. That's perfect. That will keep them at bay, keep them channeled forwards straight into the only defense there. Simple's already got one though. Kriaz, he didn't get to pull the trigger and this missed shot from Mo is starting to haunt him. Norbert's only got the one, it's Simple gone. 3v4 for the retake, Neelan gives them a way in. That's a start. Electronic is the backtrack flank though and he's considering it. Flamey should have at least one here. He's in a good spot to get it, but they do spot his toes and upgrade for Neelan. Electronics flank is going to have to start coming in soon because Perfecto is getting a lot of pressure thrown his way. Yeah, and he hasn't been delivering in terms of the frags, but it's a nice open plan. Electronic can still win this. He'll have to go for a huge backstab. He's got time as well. He checks it and he can't do it. Kiel's aware of it. Here in some footsteps of the connector as well, I'm sure health, but that was Na'Vi with the opening kill towards inside there. It was looking very good for them. And Mo missing out on what? Three or four shots at that point as well. And still the round falls apart. The third round for Simon. It's going to be 12 in total. And we'll have a look at the money for Na'Vi. They've still got a very strong buy going forward here. 12-7 overall. All remains for Mo. And that was an impressive retake. They'll call a tactical timeout on the T side. Time to talk over your options. This is a very crucial 30 seconds. Everyone, make sure they clean their ears and listens up. Yeah, you could see his toes. That's what I thought. Flamey was in such a powerful position, but unfortunately he was counting on them not checking. And great defensive work from Kios as the defuse did come through. You can see how much of a team effort this has been. 11 the bottom, 15 the top of the kill distribution. That's uh, a team effort from Simon Gaming and actually worth noting that it's the same on Na'Vi. Quite rare that we say that. Typically, if you look at Dust2 as an example, when Na'Vi did manage to take us to train, it was uh, two, was it 64 frags between the two of them? Yeah, 65 yeah. in total. So Damn. 31 for Electronic and uh, 35, I believe it was for, or 34, I believe it was, eh, whatever. It was 30 plus for both of them. It was a lot of frags. It's just a lot of kills, guys. It's a lot of them. So, here we go. Na'Vi have expended most of their cash here. Opening kill for Norba, bit of a scrappy jewel of boomage there. This time he comes out on top. AK-47 found, HE deployed as well on both sides of the equation. <laughs> Minimal damage on either side. The pop dog position is such a uh, an enigma to me. There's so many different quirks. And getting control of it is not even the hardest part of the battle, and that's one that most people struggle with. It's getting so, out of there, really, yeah. isn't it, normally? So they've got main control. Perfecto's waiting on the other side of this. I'm not too sure if they want to push on through, but... With that IV individual going on down of Kios, there is a massive gap in the defense right here. They're pushing forward on the CT side. 
Mo has to stay in limbo here, but it looks like they're going to concede territory and gamble with a 2-2 setup. Okay, but that doesn't mean they start pushing, and this time Perfecto doesn't win his duel. They'll leave now. They've called main clear. We've even got a frag. Let's worry about some other extremities of the map. Ivy, Pop Dog, both now being addressed. Very tense. Getting to the 30 second mark. Simple. Still in T spawn with the bomb. Where do they plan on finishing up here? That is a very good question. I, I couldn't tell you. They're going to have to 25? commit outside of one smoke down and plant in the smoke. I'm nervous for them. 25. They flash into main a second over the roof. 15 seconds, the bomb's in main. Simple, tossing it to Electronic, hoping he can make a beeline for the site. He's executed, but now eight seconds. Can't they can't even plant. Simple's gonna have to jump out with the bomb out, and the round is won. Wow, Simon Gaming, they can't believe their luck. They don't even have to finish killing them to have that round brought home. Oh, luckily, Flamey does save the orb. That reminds me of Overpass. Those sort of scrappy finishes, not realizing they have 30 seconds left. One bit of utility locks them out, and it all falls apart there. The fact he got simple with knife out and orb on his back because he got to plant the bomb with eight seconds remaining just isn't the one, I'm afraid. And they'll save the orb short. It gets given to simple. They've got one more buy left with that saved orb. But they give this up, Simon. Should be able to close this one out. Tech nine for Boomich. As we get into it, bare bones utility. I haven't thought about it much, guys, but do you think that the the fact that, you know, when teams run out of time on their T side, what 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 it's an in indicative of? Is it just that leadership voice not being quite as clear as other teams? Uh, well, just in that situation with Simon doing some fantastic work, the flash comes in, electronic and simple will chime in. So this is better. But yeah, if we just look at that point, because they took main control, they knew that they didn't have information right. there, right? So they, they wanted to take that back, see if they could win the fights right there, and then you would expect one player to be isolated on the inner bomb site. Didn't go their way, but these ones are. Nealon will get a kill, eventually gets taken down, but he took the danger man of Simple out, who's now up to 13 frags. I actually kind of like the CT's positions. They're not ideal, but by being in pop, oh Norbert can God. stop. This could actually be oh monumental. My God. If they don't check this position, why would they? He could get a double, but fair enough from Electronic. They're very aware of every possibility. Norbert, four versus one. Probably going to find his first goal, no problem, but the second will elude him as Perfecto. They'll be picking up his 13 frag as well. 13 to eight. That was a must-win round for Navi there, and it was certainly compromised. That would have been insane. Imagine if he got a multi-kill spray down from that position right there. The bomb gets stuck in CT spawn. Oh, my God. Yeah, but I liked seeing just the, the most perfect example of the wide swing. Like, that was like, you're peeking an AWPA, likely angle. Yep. He makes sure he goes wide, and then he's just shooting at the toes. Simple was just tucking in. He knew he'd taken his shot. It was down to his teammate to defend him. And now, well, Simon Gaming, it's a little less fun for them this time. I'm more interested oh, in Norbert because he's got a Zeus. Maybe you can get one flying up the ladder, but yeah, they are about to meet. It's going to be a massacre. He got okay, one. two he kills. Did he did Zeus Boomich, and that will oh. be something. They, they forced two rifles out of the hands of Na'Vi. Oh, nice quick round there. It was going to be 13 to 9 as Na'Vi hunt for double digits, but the money is starting to stabilize once again for Simon. They're going to bring out the AWP for Mo. 15 kills for him. Everyone fragging pretty well on that side of the server. Uh, we want to see a bit more out of the likes of Perfecto, though. Flamey has had his moments in this second half. You can see he's the impact player of the previous. And here we go then. This is where Simon will get one step closer. Touching distance of a best of three victory over the world's best team here. Malvi have not looked fantastic today, but if they made this comeback in reality after the first half they had, I'll be very impressed. Yeah, I mean, that would be the, the, the be all and end all, wouldn't it? Made from Norbert, easy to avoid. But the wall bang is there as well. He's got it well rehearsed. Disappears out to avoid the Molotov. No pressure there at all. Totem drop after the Molly. Norbert, will he be there to receive? This usually ends in a double kill. But sound cues in the taking main control. Norbert knows it's likely they're coming. He did actually get completely flashed off. No information conveyed. Well, this setup before won them the round. So if they go aggressive again and take down Perfecto again, I'll be very, very surprised. These little gimmicks and plays that they can get away with, they're more like one-trick ponies. It's not something that I think will work rinsing and repeating versus Na'Vi. They've smoked him off yet again. That's going to buy them enough time till we get to well, about 30 seconds-ish. 
out of utility now on the Simon Gaming side of things. Yeah, it's a good point. They have one smoke remaining. 35 seconds. It's happening Army. again. I'm getting nervous. Well, 30. The problem with this is if you do have any sort of trades or weird jewels, then you really are buggered. That's the bomb. The bomb's coming from main. The bomb now locked in and simple. He's been detected. They know there's a player here. They can just trade off them. Oh, maybe they can't. That's what you need to do. Oh. He just bullies his way out of main entrance. That might be enough. Yeah, 15 seconds, but it's not a problem for simple. He had no help, no team to support that bomb's arrival in the site, but he just takes them both oh. down. A good catch from Neil oh. and then a dink into simple maybe there's something to be said about this one it's left to kriaz two to find he's looking active and the oh spray through the God. smoke is positive brings flamey down low looking for the final frag he's got a broken glass he hears the drop of flamey i think that's enough for him i think you might be right looks like kriaz is out of luck we need to see that from simple's pov that's much more like it Jesus. an impossible scenario they dropped the ball more ways than one there the bomb isolated towards T-Spawn, not the bomb site, <laughs> and he gets himself two unbelievable one-taps of the AK. I don't even know how he's aware the second player could be in that position, but he manages to sniff him out, nail the shot, and win the round. I mean, yeah, they did so much right. Let's see this again from Simple's POV. The first is a banger. The second all too easy. Kios just coming around that corner, expecting a wider angle from Simple. And he gets three in the round. Yes, definitely the impact player. They were in team main with the bomb with 15 seconds left in a disadvantage it was five versus three uh, five versus four excuse me but they overcome it thanks to simple's quick double and so navi they've been given a lifeline they've got to double digits this is now going to be getting a little awkward for simon gaming they've been feeling themselves all game long but they've been yet to move off that 13 markets for a while down to just deagles and the saved m4 same as before i think they're also thinking there's no way simple could do that again quick out towards the inner Kriaz, nothing to really fall back on. No incendiaries this time. A spot on Perfecto. Messes his shots, and now already the site is open. That was the only weapon they had. Desert Eagle will be good for one kill, but that's probably it. Flamey starting to get down towards the connection and backtracks this inside area. I don't think there'll be much else to be said here. Just the pistols and surely Mo to be removed in second now. That's going to be him taking down Flamey. We're confirming him. Right, so he doesn't have to commit to these kills, but... Here we are, 11th round found for Na'Vi. Money in terms of loss bonus, maximum for Simon Gaming going forward. Na'Vi's money is starting to swell a little bit, at least on Simple and Electronic. Boomich and Flamey will be kept relatively honest, and of course, you've got Perfecto who will need to reinvest. If Norbert can pick up anything here, a kill or a gun, that would be pretty good stuff. Going to creep on through. He's going to get an opportunity presented now. And that was the AWP. So can they scavenge it? Yes, they will. Boomish will save it. Yeah, a nice shop. Doesn't have a massive knock-on effect here, considering the cash of Na'Vi. They've still got an AWP, AKs as well. And here we go, another gun round. But uh, we're right back into the thick of it now. Na'Vi, after conceding an 11-4 half on their T side, will have... 11 rounds to their name. Simon haven't posted much at all. Yeah, if they have an aggressive move in their back pocket, a way to activate Mo on that AWP, then this would be the time. We need to see if they can take Na'Vi down before we get into some of these late round scenarios. Perfecto, straight out mid, so a bit of a change. He goes down, that's what I'm talking about. Mo finds the opening. There you go, and now Boomich just leaps out of Pog Dog. Norbert's gonna get a double off that. And Na'Vi, they try and switch up the pace, but it cost them the round. Simple just ate a nade. He's forced into a two ver Oh, he's look at the line. He's looking at the perfect angle for it, but very, very quick reactions required to hit a shot like that. Simple will dart away, and he retrieves the bomb. His teammate Electronic is being dealt with for now by K Chaos, not Kriaz. That will take a while. Electronic and Simple, they've done much more with far less. Five on two. Couple of Molotovs available, the AWP and the AK-47 as well. Kios looks like he's got a prime setup here to shut them out. A nice little grenade as well lands in the pocket of Electronic. He gets at least one of these kills or both. That would be fantastic. And he'll convert that. There's actually five players surviving. There's two reasons why that's fantastic. One, he just won the round. But two, teams and uh, individuals are not making in the smoke, right? They're sitting in the smoke and waiting. He knew when that smoke was about to fade. He dropped the HE, which then has played in his favor. 
he knew exactly what was going to happen as the smoke was fading. That is genius stuff right there, if that was his intention. With the HE smoke, you're suggesting? Yeah, otherwise yeah. I'm making him seem like more of a genius than well, he is, but, but that's what it felt it like. It certainly did look like it, the timing was perfect for it, right? This, as the smoke was fading, he HE's the close corner, finds simple first, and immediately ready to transfer for electronic. Beautiful stuff. And that's what Simon Gaming finding 14, and 11 four half as Henry reiterated in round 25. It's worth reiterating every time. Simon Gaming, two rounds away from taking the Na'Vi boys down a peg or two. Big round coming up here. Boomage with the Galil. Simple with the Orb, 17 kills. Been quite a spotty performance from him. Getting into this best of three. Fantastic on the first two maps. First half, the train was not existent, but starting to show us that he's still in the game. Simon will have Mo positioned on the bomb trench, now looking towards main entrance. It's a powerful angle, isn't it? it? Is. It's great. Can be very effective for now, though. Just dropping the incendiary towards Olof, allowing Kiel's just to focus towards Ivy. You can see he's smoke in that late stages. Not we're trying to get in towards Ivy, but taking a lot of damage now, down to 41. In terms of the inside pressure, nothing at all for Nami. All focused towards main entrance. Big kill about oh. to arrive. He gets it for the last couple of bullets with his M4. And there's no trade potential there. They've got full main control once more, but it was simple. They battered and bruised them once. Can he replicate it? <sighs> Brave from Electronic. Wow, he didn't <laughs> even move. He did not flinch. Now the smoke will force him to maintain. Imagine having that confidence. They throw a flash, you're completely blind, and you don't. They're not going to peek me. They're not going to peek me. They're not going to peek me. 40 seconds. This is when I get nervous because I do a quick smoke check. And no, actually, no smokes for the CT. He's in Norbert. He does well to find one. Neil and immediately knee jerk to fill the gap. And he smoked himself off. They know what's going on. It was a flash, excuse me. He still has line of sight, which makes it even more difficult for the remaining two. These Simples guys. the bomb again. Where is it? He's by toilets inside. So with. 18 seconds remaining right now. Electronic needs a couple of kills, and he's actually got an open outside bomb site. Simple can plant towards. There's inner. 10 seconds. Got no time. Oh, he can't do anything with this. Not if he wants to. That's Simon Gaming taking the 15th round. It's a little, a uh, little. Um, what's the word? Anticlimactic. Yeah, that's that's the 15th. That was the crucial round. I'm afraid that's just how it's going to go down. Simple. Money as well. He can't even drop a weapon. He has the orb, sure, but there's 2K on Perfecto, Electronic. Oh, no. 3,000 between Boomich and Flamey. They might not be getting to overtime. Can I have yet. a quick recap of how that round was lost? Uh, memory doesn't uh, serve too well. Perfecto, they flashed to kill Perfecto. Here then we are. They flashed Electronic. He didn't move. They went back to Pop. Norbert and Neil and That's combined right. for a double. Then it was Electronic left walking yard by himself and simple in no man's land. Okay, folks. Simon Gaming. Closing it down. I mean, they are just one round away from completing this exceptional result. And it's been through their own individual's prowess and solid teamwork. Teamwork, by the way, in a second language that they're unfamiliar with. Yeah, that's worth reiterating as well. But here we are. Galil's Tech Nines and a simple AWP to avoid defeat in a best of three against Simon Gaming, the former house of Perfecto. This... To be honest, on paper, this would be a bit of an embarrassing result. They, they shouldn't be dropping this. They're considered to be the number one team in the world, not just in their region. This should be a walk in the park for them. Perfecto should be dunking on these boys and showing why he left. And right now, their backs are to the wall. One round will do it. And it's got tech and a few smokes. That's it. So they've denied main at roughly a minute in a bunch of these rounds. And that's left Na'Vi scrambling. It feels like they don't have enough time to actually talk through how do we react to this? How do we deal with this? They're exploited on their CT side. The Ivy pushes from Kios, flanking onto CT spawn, flattening simple round after round. And now they're taking control of the map. They're dictating the pace and Na'Vi have got nothing. No, he's holding this. He does get perfectly flashed off the line though. That's a chance for Na'Vi now. They didn't take a casualty upon entry so they can get this bomb planted at this stage. But simple has the bomb still. He's at lower ramp. He'll have to cross over and the Tech-9 will get a kill. Perfecto finds it towards Mo and that could be enough. Does look like that frag is done. A lot of the heavy lifting for this retake now. The CTs do have to overcome a man disadvantage. This AWP has posted up. It's supposed to be very difficult, but a missed shot from this AWP. Not a second, though. Simple does not make the same mistake twice. He takes two with him. 
And now Kriaz thrust into a one versus three. Spots another. He's already taken down one. If he can find Boomich quickly, we're on. But Boomich is being a cheeky rascal on that ladder. It could cost him, though. There is a kit on Kriaz. Electronic only a tech nine, but he's not choosing to go for it. Doesn't feel like he's going to be able to bait that out. He would have to have just held it at that point. He's going to save the orb if possible. That's in connector, which he will do. So it won't be the victory just yet, but they keep some very modest. They only get $3,500 per player. Oh. That's why Electronic has to get the orb at the end, and he actually manages to recover it. That's, That's huge. huge. Yeah. That's a big deal. They wouldn't have got the orb otherwise. So another difficult round, but stronger than before. They now have an AK-47 for Electronic. Simple on the orb can still drop an AK, but he needs utility. And this was the opening kill. We talk about the Tech Nines getting deep down towards the connector. Perfecto certainly did. He took Mo down, and that was their avenue of approach there. It was the, the kill that got them into the round. And they've got 15-12 now. Another tactical timeout. The final one for Na'Vi. Blade is not happy. Here's one of the positives for Simon Gaming right now. If they lose this round, they get 2,900 in the next. They're close already to having max loss bonus. And that is a place that you want to be on the CT side if you have 15 on the board already. Usually we're talking about this with the CTs having to battle on Good in point. and their money's broken. But this is the shoe on the other foot. This is the other way around. They're going to get decent buys between now and the end of the game to close this one out. They've got three shots at the greats this would be the best one of the bunch though money will get lower and lower as these rounds slip away this is a nice healthy buy m4s are out a couple of kids in the mix as well and maybe a faster approach towards inner mo will change his position down towards the lower ramp molotov over the back and he's getting himself up towards the shelf as well. So over the opening pick, it's going to be found, but it's surely a trade. You can hear the step coming. He's got to get out of dodge, and he does. Oh. Aggress aggression from Norbert has not gone well, though. They get the trade they were looking for, Neil, and he's about to be tested in a big way, and Pop Dog does get Molotov back. He wants to line up the molly for the other side of it. They want to go again. He's locked in. Flashed as well. Oh, he's so dead. Perfect execution from Simple. The flashbang was flawless. Neilan forced to stay in pop. His eyes naturally divert to the top of pop, and there's a perfect flash and frag for Na'Vi. 4v3. This gamble is very important that they're doing it. They shouldn't even leave anyone towards the inner bomb site. We've seen them do it a couple of times, I Simon think Gaming. I Kriaz is just going to drop a smoke there, what, like 30 seconds, and hopefully you just push them in towards outside. I think, yeah, so throw it like now. This would be cool, just so he can actually focus the boys outside at this point. I wouldn't even be worried about it now. Once that smoke's down, just leave it. They can win this, though. There's 35 seconds left, and they're coming through Ivy. We've got Kios tucked on in in hell. If they don't, if they go sunny side, which, which it looks are. like they're going to, he gets two kills. This one's done. Oh, my Lord. Okay. Kios, a smoke of his own as well. That's going to make them to go gray screen or wait. There's only 20 seconds they can't afford to. Na'Vi, not like this. Their they worst go? enemy. It's the clock. And Mo, he's got another. They're running out of time. 10 seconds. They're nowhere near the bomb train. Where is the bomb? Simple's gone down. Simon Gaming with oh, just enough time. Simple could try, but he's gone down. And Simon Gaming have done it.